Pittsburgh Steelers safety, DeMonte KZ, is the key to the Pittsburgh Steelers defense that you probably really don't think about. So, Steelers, they signed DeMonte KZ last offseason, but as we all know, he got injured in the preseason and missed most of the year with a fractured slash broken hand. So, the expectations last season was really high, especially with the three-pack safety unit that we were waiting to see on the field with Troll Edmonds, KZ, and Minka Fitzpatrick. But we didn't get to see that until later in the year. But when DeMonte KZ came back during the season after being on IR with a broken hand, his production on the field was seen right away. He had two interceptions on the season, but not just that, it gave the Steelers secondary a boost. It gave someone else that could be a ball hawk in the secondary and make plays on the ball. Not just interceptions, but pass defense and also just being there when the receiver catches the ball at the right timing. Minka Fitzpatrick was really the only ball hawk in the secondary as the free safety, the best in the league at that position, but it gave the Steelers another person who throughout his career has been a difference maker. At this point in the video, now you're probably wondering why is he the key to the Pittsburgh Steelers defense though? Well, when you think about it, outside of the main guys, obviously like Minka Fitzpatrick, TJ Watt, Cameron Hayward, and guys like that, he's really a key to the Steelers secondary and the defense as a whole because he allows other guys to do what they do best, like Minka Fitzpatrick. DeMonte KZ just being on the field and being that ball hawk and that free safety who plays the middle of the field will allow Mink Fitzpatrick to do so many other stuff, make him be able to move all around the field because when you know you have someone in the backfield behind you being able to guard and kind of roam the defense, it allows you to be kind of that free person and kind of do whatever you want in the field and be a playmaker. If Minka Fitzpatrick wants, he can move down to the slot on some snaps and the defense can be better on coverage downs like that. Or Minka Fitzpatrick, if he needs to be lined up on a tight end, if he wants to play that free safety role and kind of move all over the field, having someone behind you that you know could be the playmaker that you are because Minka Fitzpatrick usually plays that position and he has to make those plays and help around. If you have someone who could help you, it really just helps out the defense as a whole. And now, if this Steelers, if they want to go to a too high safety look against really good passing teams like the Kansas City Chiefs, the Buffalo Bills, and the Cincinnati Bengals of the world, they could do so. Because we've seen over the years, the only way the Kansas City Chiefs even have a problem on offense is when teams go to a too high safety look. And over the years, the Steelers just couldn't do that because they didn't have people who could play that position. They had Trell Edmonds. But we all know he's not a playmaker on the defense. He's more of a box safety guy and someone who's good at the run game and stuff like that. He's not a guy who's going to be roaming the field and be a playmaker. So the Steelers never had someone if they wanted to go to that look. They would have to use a cornerback, but they just never did. And it was just Minka Fitzpatrick down there the whole time. So now having KZ... Having two people who could do that, it really helps out the defense do a lot of things. And I'm not even mentioning what it'll allow Keanu Neal to do. Because yes, Keanu Neal is brought in to be a strong safety for the Steelers. But now, having someone like Hazy make with Patrick behind you, it allows moving Keanu Neal all around the field as well, allowing him to play some slots, but mostly playing inside linebacker in the nickel package and playing down in the box because he doesn't have to worry about coverage as much other than maybe guarding tight ends. So it really helps out his play style. Now, moving on to the cornerbacks, it really helps them as well. Because when you look at the Steelers cornerbacks, their depth and they're so young in that position. Outside of Patrick Peterson and Levi Wallace, they're really young and really inexperienced at that position with Joy Porter Jr., Corey Trice Jr., and even a limited limited action, James Pierre. So they're really limited in depth and age at that position and really lack that long speed down the field, especially at Patrick Peterson's age. So having two safeties 
who have been playmakers in their career and have been that free safety kind of double teaming down the field, being able to get to that second half of the field when the quarterback throws the ball, knowing that you have help over top allows so much more things. It allows you to press more. It allows you to bite more on routes, kind of jumping the pass, making a play on the ball because you know behind you, you have guys who are ready to make a play if you kind of mess up. But obviously you don't want that happen, you don't want to mess up, but if you do, you have guys behind you that will help you. And you're kind of wondering maybe why I'm talking about DeMonte Casey as a playmaker in his career. Well, right now he's 30 years old, he's 5'11", 174 pounds. So if he wants to move down to the slot in packages and play, he's really good in coverage. But that's not the reason why I'm talking about him being a playmaker. I'm talking about him being a playmaker because with the Falcons, he had seven interceptions back in 2018. And throughout his career, he's been known as the playmaker in the interception guy. 2019, three interceptions. And like I said, with the Steelers, in a short time, two interceptions. And even in his career, he was selected to a Pro Bowl and also first team AP All-Pro. So... He, his resume is pretty good, and he has been that person as a free safety. He's kind of been that Mick of his Patrick role, but for the Atlanta Falcons, who weren't getting as much coverage, and obviously not as good as Mick of his Patrick is right now, but he was always playing that playmaker role, that free safety role in their secondary, so he's used to playing that position. And he has done so with, with success. So, that's why I believe DeMonte KZ is is a real key to the Pittsburgh Steelers defense and also secondary, allowing guys to play multiple positions and be versatile. So I touched in this video about Minka Fitzpatrick saying it allow him to do more things on the defense, kind of what he did in Miami, but obviously not as much because you don't want to take him out of his elements. So I'm going to be making a video tomorrow touching on it more about Minkos Patrick potentially playing slot snaps and how he has done so with success and the numbers back it up. So tomorrow that video will be released to you around the same time as this video was posted. So stay tuned for that. But in all in all, DeMonte KZ, he helps out the Steelers defense a lot in multiple areas. Hopefully, he's able to stay healthy and we're finally able to see that three package safety look that we've all been waiting to see from last season. So, with that being said, let me know down in the comments below. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about me saying DeMonte KZ will be a key to the Pittsburgh Steelers secondary, but not just secondary? defense as a whole. Do you think he could be a difference maker on the team with a fully healthy season, helping guys out in multiple areas, allowing them to be versatile on the defense? Or do you think I'm being overblown on this and it's not going to happen and he's not really a key difference maker and what I'm saying doesn't make sense? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you like serious content, analysis, and reports, like the video, Turn on post notifications down below for his channel as well, so you get notified whenever I post next year's video. I cover everything Pittsburgh Steelers news, rumors, and reports, and I covered it all this offseason from the draft, free agency, trades that we've done, all the new guys we covered, undrafted guys like that, all their introductions and player profiles, what they'll bring to the team this season and future years maybe, they're on the channel, so go ahead and watch that, and like I said, Everything moving forward, I'm covering it all. Training camp is upcoming in Latrobe in a couple weeks. And then we're on to the preseason, actual live game football that we've all been waiting for. And then the regular season. I'm covering it all and I'm repeating the whole cycle back to the draft next offseason. So this is the best place for Pittsburgh Steelers news to keep up to date with everything Steelers football. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.